بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم گائز امید کرتی ہوں کہ آپ سب لوگ خیر خیریت سے ہوں گے تو ویلکم ٹو نالج ایلیویشن سو ٹوڈے وی ول اسٹڈی اباؤٹ پارٹس آف اسپیچ ویل دیر آر ایٹ پارٹس آف اسپیچ ناؤ پرو ناؤن ورب ایڈ ورب ایجیکٹو پریپوزیشن کنجنکشنز اینڈ انٹرجیکشنز بٹ وی ول فوکس اونلی آن ناؤن ان دس ویڈیو Now is the name of a person, place, animal, thing or an idea. But when we have learned from the beginning, now is the name of a person, place, animal or thing. But if we say that now is the name of a person, place, animal or thing, then what is an honesty? What is an honesty? When you look at the dictionary, the honesty word as a noun is considered. So this is half definition. So what is the full definition? It is that noun is the name of a person, place, animal, thing or an idea. For example, Pakistan, city, fox, board, honesty, wisdom, knowledge, information, etc. So these are the noun. So what are the types of noun? Common noun, proper noun, collective noun, abstract noun, concrete noun or we can say it as a material noun too, countable noun, uncountable noun, feminine noun, masculine noun, gender noun. So these are 10 nouns right there um yahan pe hamare paas aur bhi bahut sare noun hote hain jis tarah hum log keh sakte hain singular noun plural noun right so yahan pe hum log sirf 10 nouns ke bare mein discuss karenge types of noun number 1 common noun what is a common noun common noun is the name of any person anything any animal or any place jisko hum log urdu mein ism nakra bhi kehte hain theek hai koi bhi aam cheez کوئی بھی عام جگہ کوئی بھی عام انسان کا نام کوئی بھی عام انیمل ٹھیک ہے اس کو ہم لوگ کہیں گے کامن ناؤن فار ایگزامپل نیم آف اینی پرسن از گرل اور بوائے ریمبر آئی ایم ناٹ کالنگ دا نیم آف دا پرسن آئی ایم ناٹ سینگ سارا آئی ایم ناٹ سینگ علی رادر آئی ایم سینگ گرل اینی گرل ایف آئی ایف آئی سی گرل وچ گرل اینی گرل If I say boy, it means any boy. So it's the name of any person, anything. If I say duster, pen, pencil, page, board, cloth. So it means that this is anything. Koi bhi cheez hai. Koi specify nahi kiya gaya. Koi naam nahi liya gaya. The name of any animal. Agar mein kehti hu dog. But I'm not calling its name. I'm not calling that German Shepherd dog, right? I'm just saying dog. It means any dog. So this is a common noun. City, country. These are the name of any place. It's a common noun. Coming towards another type that is proper noun. So proper noun is the name of a special person, special thing, special animal or special place. If I call the name of a thing or name of an animal or name of a person, then that is called as a proper noun, right? If I say Sara, if I say Ali, I'm, I'm specifying the name. If I say girl, so I'm not here, I'm not specifying, right? I'm not specifying the name. But if I say Sara, if I say Farah, if I say German Shepherd, if I say London Eye, London Eye is a place, park uh, name in England, right? So, I'm calling the names of the things. If I say uh, Apple, so Apple mara kya hoga? Common noun. Kyunki yaha pe hamne uska naam nahi liya. Lekin if I say Granny Smith Apple, thik hai? To Granny Smith Apple kya hai? Proper noun. Kyunki yaha pe naam le liya gaya hai. Next is collective noun. The group of anything or the name of a collection of something is called as a collective noun. Kisi cheese ka group. 
किसी चीज़ की कलेक्शन उसको जब हम लोग नाम देते हैं तो उसको कलेक्टिव नाउन कहा जाता है फॉर एग्जांपल अगर बहुत सारी भेड़ हैं शीप्स हैं एक जगह पे, तो उस सारी शीप्स को हम लोग कहते हैं ना रेवर है उर्दू में ठीक है तो वो जो तमाम के तमाम शीप का फ्लॉक होगा शीप के एक झमकट्टा होगा ग्रुप होगा उसको हम लोग कहेंगे हर्ड ऑफ शीप और हर्ड ऑफ शीप ठीक है हर्ड हमारा क्या है कलेक्टिव नाउन क्योंकि यहाँ पे हमने बहुत सारी शीप्स को के ग्रुप को एक नाम दे दिया ए बंच ऑफ फ्लावर्स बहुत सारे फ्लावर्स जब इकट्ठे होते हैं तो उसको बुखे भी कहते हैं उसको बंच भी कहते हैं सो वी कैन ऑल्सो से बुखे ऑफ फ्लावर्स और वी कैन ऑल्सो से अ बंच ऑफ फ्लावर्स ए स्वैम ऑफ बीज बहुत सारी हनी बीज होंगी या बीज होंगे उनके ग्रुप को हम लोग स्वैम कहते हैं स्कूल ऑफ थाट्स बहुत सारे आइडियाज जब हमारे माइंड में होते हैं तो हम कहते हैं स्कूल ऑफ थाट्स सो दिस इज कॉल एज ए कलेक्टिव नाउन coming to us the fourth type which is abstract noun what is an abstract noun when we cannot touch we cannot feel or we cannot see anything the thing which is in our mind or which is in our imagination then that is called as an abstract noun right aisi cheez jisko hum log touch karke na dekh sake touch na kar sake ki bhai wo garam hai thanda hai hard hai सॉफ्ट है ठीक है फील ना कर सकें हम लोग देख ना सकें तो वो हमारा एब्स्ट्रैक्ट नाउन कहलाता है फॉर एग्जांपल ऑनेस्टी क्या आप ऑनेस्टी को टच करके देख सकते हैं कि ये गर्म है ठंडा है ठीक है ये टच करके देख सकते हैं कि ये हार्ड है या सॉफ्ट है क्या ये ऑनेस्टी नज़र आती है कि दिखने में कैसी है ये छोटी है बड़ी है मोटी है पतली है नो वी कैन नॉट सी बट इट इज़ इन अवर इमेजिनेशन सेम इज द केस विद ब्रेवरी wisdom knowledge information right so these all concepts are called as abstract noun because we cannot touch we cannot feel we cannot see them the next type is concrete or material noun concrete noun is it is opposite to abstract noun concrete noun is when we can touch we can feel or we can see a thing right then that is called as a concrete or material noun for example boat aap boat ko touch kar sakte hain aap usko feel kar sakte hain ki thanda ho raha hai garam ho raha hai ye hard hai soft hai right aap usko dekh sakte hain kyunki aap board pe likhenge to aapko nazar aayega aap dekh sakte hain ki white hai black hai green hai kis color ka hai same as the case with book umbrella cloth these all are called as concrete noun or we or you can also say it as material noun the next type is countable noun countable noun is a very simple type the things that can be counted is called as countable nouns for example an apple five pictures four pencils five uh, or um, nine sheets so these are countable it can be singular or it can be plural right coming to words the uh, seventh type which is uncountable noun the things that cannot be counted is called as uncountable noun for example sugar can you count sugar no you cannot can you count milk can you count stars can you count information no you can't so this is called as uncountable noun the other type is gender noun it is a grammatical category of a noun which reflects the category of a male or female gender se saaf pata chal jata hai ke yahan pe male aur female dono included hain theek hai for example ali for example raza sara fatima these all are gender nouns so these are gender nouns jiske andar male bhi aa jaye aur female bhi aa jaye the ninth type is feminine noun feminine noun is all the female categories are included in feminine noun yahan pe upar gender noun mein hum logo ne dekha tha ke male and female categories ko jo reflect karta hai usko hum log so gender noun is it includes both male and female but in feminine noun it includes only female categories right sara para girl women they all are feminine nouns 
The last but not the least is masculine nouns. Masculine nouns include all the male categories, right? For example, Ali, boy, man, etc. So this is all about the parts uh, of speech type 1, which is noun. So we will focus on another ty type of speech or part of speech in another video. Till then, Allah Hafiz.